Namaste, everybody. Morning routine. My buddy Ryan asked about this, and this was on our call yesterday. And I'd say normally, you know, my my days are pretty much the same. But of course, occasionally, when a flare of fibromyalgia or a migraine occurs, and adjustment, just like today with the weather. You know, so when it's raining or snowing or inclement weather, it's an opportunity to kind of have more self-reflection, to think about what's going on internally in your life and not spend as much time externally. But my morning routine is pretty much the same as I get up every morning or I wake up every morning and I lay in bed for, you know, just depends. Like today, I think I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and uh, I'll be as mindful and meditative as possible. I have a slow, deep, methodical breath. So I'll inhale for eight seconds, pause and hold for four, exhale for eight seconds and pause and hold for four. Now, once again, depending on the day and the time frame, um, I could do that anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, an hour and a half when I wake up. My alarm is set for 6.30, so I attempt to get up every day at 6.30 and start my day. Um, so I start this slow, methodical breath. And then I do like a body scan. I check in mentally, physically, and spiritually to see where I'm at today. And from that just general observation of what's going on, I set an intention. And you know, depending on what is going on, that could be just uh, patience or forgiveness or strength or courage, uh, or maybe just a, a balance. You know, so things in my life will determine from my body scan what. I set my intention. And then I just dive into the steps of mindfulness and meditation. So first thing I do is I become aware of all the feelings externally, like the temperature of the room and the various layers of clothing that I'm wearing or the comforters or the blankets or pillows, you know, and kind of the numbing and tingling I have in my body, where I have my pain. So all those feelings, but then more importantly, the feeling that I have internally. What I hear, so, you know, Maybe a dog snoring or the rain falling on the roof or whatever it may be outside. Or usually it's the chickens and the cows. I can hear every morning about 5.30 those, those creatures start, you know, talking. And, uh, but more importantly, the self dialogue of what I hear internally, that I remind myself that I'm loved, that I'm capable, that I'm accepted, um, those types of positive mantras that I remind myself and then what I see is so I look around the space you know wherever I'm at and what that looks like and then if I'm outside as well I build my awareness of what it looks like outside in nature and so I follow through those steps over and over you know slow deep breath general observation continue to check in then I breathe and manifest that intention throughout the day and then now that intention can change you know by noon chaos or toxic energy or who knows what could have happened uh, that intention could change you know maybe I need a little bit more patience or maybe a little bit more forgiveness or just resilience whatever it may be uh, and then when I decide to get out of bed you know the first thing I do is I start my kettle and I make my oatmeal and I usually make some tea and then um, so as the kettle's going I go outside uh, take the dogs out and then occasionally we'll go for like a sunrise walk or a hike with the dogs um, and then I will kind of dive into what my day looks like and just make sure that I'm setting myself up for success I want to be the best version of myself each and every morning and, and I call it social enrichment I want to enrich my life so I can enrich the lives of our community and every day that could be something different you know like yesterday this couple was stranded on the side of the road and I just wanted to stop and check on them make sure that they're doing okay or you know we've had people with flat tires so whatever it may be in their life or some, sometimes it's just people that need to talk they just need an ear and to express their thoughts feelings and emotions of things that are going on so I need to make sure that I'm grounded and centered and calm and relaxed and prepared and that I'm not multitasking that I'm not trying to do too many things I published this journal uh, last year and I it, it's a really good opportunity to kind of dive into your self-care routine. So it has AM and PM, 
And what would your self-care routine look like? Maybe you need to go for a jog or a run or you need to do some yoga, sauna, hot tub, whatever it is that you need to do for your self-care routine. And then gratitude, things that you're thankful for. And then today's visions, dreams, and goals. So there's one in the morning and then your thoughts, feelings, and emotions because a lot of times we subdue those or we ignore those. And so I think it's important to get in touch with our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So you do this every morning as you kind of get on this routine of what does my self-care routine need to be this morning? What do I need to do to set myself up for success or be the best version of myself? And find things that you're grateful for. And then what is it you really want to focus on today? What are your dreams, visions, and goals for today, short-term and long-term, thoughts, feelings, and emotions? And then about two hours before you go to bed, you just do the PM one. So same thing, what does your evening self-care routine look like? What is it you need to do to wind down for the evening? What's some things that you're grateful for in the evening that kind of unforeseen circumstances that arose that you find gratitude for? And then what do you need to think about for tomorrow, your dreams, visions, and goals? You write it down, and that way it's not on your mind as you're trying to sleep, that you're letting all of that stuff go. And thoughts and feelings and emotions from the day. So I'll put a link in there if this is something that interests you to get you started on your AM or PM self-care routine. Um, but I think it's very important that we spend time with ourselves each and every morning, just taking the time to process, to analyze, to, to determine what it is we want to get out of that day and how we can be the best version of ourselves. And maybe it's reading some motivational material or a book or just spending time alone in mindfulness and meditation. I'm going to encourage you to do that because from you know sharing this with veterans, essential personnel, or people with you know trauma or PTS, when they don't do it, they their day kind of goes to hell. Their day is not set up for success when they haven't spent the time each and every morning being mindful, being present, and setting their intention. And what happens is we'll skip a day, and then we skip another day, and skip another day, and then. Next thing you know, it's two weeks or a month has gone by and we just don't feel the same. We haven't been the same person and it's because we haven't set ourselves up for success and we haven't been alone with ourselves. And realize that being alone and boredom actually creates more creativity. It stimulates our brain and we're having to think. So I hope that you got something out of this. I just wanted to share my self-care routine, my morning routine, what it looks like and realize that you know the days that I have a flare or a lot of pain that um, I'm just gonna lay in that bed you know every morning and it's important I would say to make your bed each and every day either Tammy or I or both of us make that bed each and every day you want your life organized you want things in your life organized you want a place for everything and everything has a place and then that way you know where to find it you know where it's at and it, and it your mind can't really think and focus when you have all this clutter going on. And that's why it's so important to get onto these self-care and these holistic kind of methods for self-care in the morning and in the evening. So your mind can think clearly. So you're not trying to multitask and you're not trying to do all these different things. So keep your house, your workspace, whatever it is, clean and as organized as possible. And just make your bed every day. Start with that habit. You know, the things in your car, in your life, keep as clean and organized as possible, your environment, so there's not a lot of clutter and there's not a lot of chaos. I can tell the difference when I go into an office or a space that's cluttered and disorganized and it's dirty or filthy. It, it really creates anxiety in my body and it's like either I want to clean or I got to walk away. I've got to make that choice of, hey, can I stay in this environment and actually really focus or do I need to go outside and and get some fresh air so if there's anything i can do for you guys this week just let me know i love you and i hope you're having a great week